Good morning. This is Amanda from Carolina Diagnostic Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to use the micro portable spirometer. It's by far, it's our entry level spirometer that Vitalograph offers, but it's by far one of the easiest devices that we have to operate. So, to operate this device, you're going to need four AAA batteries. Um, I've already, I've got fresh batteries loaded. Your batteries, if you use this every day, are going to last you about four or five days. Doesn't doesn't have to be recharged, so you can simply buy rechargeable batteries, pop them on the charger, and then change them out as you as you're working through the clinic day. Um, it utilizes a flesh pneumotra a flesh flow head um, for our flow measuring technology, much like uh, the other devices that we've got. So very 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 accurate at those high and those low flows. Good to know. All right, so now I've already done my daily cow check for this today. Um, so I'm just really going to show you the simple um, pieces that you need, uh, buttonology essentially, to operate this. We're not going to go into any spirometry theory today. That will be included on another video. All right, so turn to turn it on, essentially, just fire it up like so. It makes a beautiful sing song sound, and our screen is right here. And from here, we are going to look specifically um, at how to enter a patient. Now this device does not require much um, information at all. You're simply gonna to go to the patient icon, and I apologize that the device is almost backward on the screen for you, but um, you essentially just need to enter the patient's age here in this, um, in this icon, um, and their, uh, their height, and then select what their sex is. I'm already entered here in the device, my height and weight. Please don't share this with anyone. Uh, and then you'll push the next button over. Weight is optional. Um, it just depends on what's configured uh, in the settings for your particular organization. Um, I would encourage you to put weight in there, although you don't have to to get your predicted calculation sets. Now, to, to choose your regression set, you can simply tap on this button here. If you select anything in this category, uh, you're going to be utilizing the NHANES regression equation, or uh, we can click over on the other side here, um, and these, this, this is where you select the GLI um, equation. Uh, this is really the most accurate, um, and it goes down from age age three up to 95. So I would I would uh, recommend using the GLI over the uh, over the NHANES. So once your uh, predicted calculation has been set, then you simply push the green button and enter 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 all the way back to our home screen, and now we are ready to test. So to test, we're going to select. Um, if you if you want to do a slow vital check, you can do a slow vital. However, most of our um, our folks doing bedside studies and um, using this for screening spirometry typically only use the forced maneuver. So you've selected here. When you see the little blue guy on the screen, you are ready to blow. So let me grab my mouthpiece here, and I will do that for you. You can see what that looks like. Alright, so you see that I have a number one there. Again, I apologize that my screen is backwards, but you can see that I have a number one there. So that effort was acceptable um, by minimal uh, ATS requirements. So we can go ahead and blow again. Um, when you see the little guy here in the bottom, there are no additional buttons to be pushed. <gasps> Take your dig, big deep breath in, that finishes your loop. Great, we have number two. That's acceptable per our minimal ATS requirements. And then you need to get, you need to have three measurements. I'm gonna go ahead and blow one more for you. <gasps> All right, so when you hear that sign, when you hear that sound on the micro, that indicates that you have a minimum of three acceptable maneuvers um, on your device for that particular testing session. And um, per ATS, you can, if they're 
or no quality issues with those, you can go ahead and accept that and consider that that portion of testing actually completed. Now, if you want to look at the specific components of each loop, um, I have effort number three selected here. So you can click here, look at your volume time. You want to make sure that you overlap, that you overlay nicely there. That indicates that we have um, some consistency. And then you select this button here, and that will allow you to toggle through the numeric values of each of your tests. Now, when you're finished, if you're going to bronchodilate your patient, you go, you hit this button right here, and now you see that our post is no longer gray, so we can hit this button here, go through the same cycle um, for post bronchodilator, or if you are finished with your test, then you can um, upload your, your, uh, your test. So we're gonna pull that into a different video so I can reset here and pull out my computer. Um, please let us know if you have any questions. It's quite as simple as that.